Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Not Those Were the Days, not even Avatar The Last Airbender, but Mike W Reviews. So, today's episode is a little bit different than what I do. Usually we do a watch and react and review. Uh, that's typically what we do. Yes, I know that rhymes. So, uh, that's what we usually do. We do Avatar The Last Airbender, which we will be finishing here in just a few episodes. And, of course, All in the Family, which uh, we just started the first, uh, the fourth season. So, yes, those will be continued. It's just uh, really hard with all of the copyright stuff, even though I only use a few seconds of clips. They still get on you for copyright, so I might be changing the format on that to see how you guys like it. Alright guys, so this is going to be a spoiler-free review, and basically I went and saw the Wolverine movie yesterday, and it is really, really interesting. Uh, Deadpool is Deadpool. If you've seen the other two and you like it, you're gonna like this movie, hands down. Anyways, like, there's nothing really too new on the Deadpool side. He's the Merc with the mouth and the double katanas. That's what he is in this movie as well. The plot is pretty well known that there is a bad guy doing bad things that needs to be stopped. And Deadpool needs some help. There is a reason why we pick uh, Logan, a.k.a. Wolverine, at the uh, beginning. Uh, kind of a little uh, story that goes with that, but again, this is a spoiler-free review. Uh, is it Logan? Is it not Logan? Just go see the movie. Now, this movie is... It's a fun popcorn flick. It's, it is what it set out to be, and it hits you in all of the right places. Uh, if you were Deadpool, you'd make a dirty joke here. The whole movie is just a fun, you know, popcorn roller coaster ride. Uh, there's, of course, a loose storyline of why we're doing stuff. Uh, does it make sense all of the time? No, but it's a popcorn flick. Nobody cares. This isn't Dances with Wolves. This isn't, you know, uh, any of those big, long saga movies that we've had, um like Horizon, which was, uh, personally, I didn't go see it because I don't want to sit in the movie theater for more than two hours, and that was like three, almost three and a half hours, and yeah, I like the cowboy movies, but uh, the runtime is, uh, I can wait till it comes out on streaming for me, and this one is only about, I think, two hours long, maybe a little bit longer than two hours. And it really doesn't hit a wall until about the third act. Uh, at the third act, they kind of pump the brakes. There's a lot of, like, little things that are going on. And then they kind of build back up from there, which which kind of helps because that's kind of your, oh, time to go to the, the bathroom or get concessions moment. Everything kind of slows down. Nothing too exciting happens until after this one scene. Uh, after the one scene, it's just a lot of dialogue, and then they kind of start wrapping up stuff and building up to the finale. Uh, like a good third act should. Uh, the jokes are really funny. Uh, of course, it's the Merc with the Mouth, so everything is sarcasm, everything is snarky, everything is breaking the third wall. And in this particular movie, because it's technically Disney... Uh, there are a bunch of meta jokes against Disney, against Fox, against himself, um, against everything. And it's really fun when you pay attention to what's going on. There is one problem that I have, is there is one fight scene, and it's the fight scene that we've all been waiting for. Uh, it's just not long enough. I wanted that to be a little bit more epic because the end battle scene, if you want to call it that, uh, it's not really a battle scene, but the ending 
was drawn out, sure, but it wasn't like the big finish. It would have been fun to actually see this battle uh, get drawn out a little bit more than it was. And if you guys, uh, you know, know what I'm talking about, Shmei uh y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, go see the movie. It is definitely a watch movie. There are some that are uh, so good it's bad, so bad it's good. Uh, sometimes when I'm, when I say so good, it's bad. It, it's basically, it played the, oh, give you a, everything that you like just because we can. And we didn't think about the storyline. No, this one thought about the storyline just enough to make it where it's coherent. It's a good story, but it's not like just story driven. It's more, oh, there's that thing that we have to go do. And that's going to, you know, it's more of a thing than it is the story. So it's more goal-oriented story than it is just like, here's a storyline. Um, but that's popcorn movies for you. Anyways, most um, movies like that uh, don't really have, like, a huge storyline. It's more about, well, let's go get the bad guy. And that's basically what this movie is, is, you know, hey, let's get the team together go beat the bad guy, see what happens. There are cameos, a lot of cameos, and they are good. They kind of, uh, the way that they do it, because if you guys know the whole, you know, timey-wimey stuff, it's kind of great, but it's also kind of like, okay, but we're never going to see these characters again. But it is nice to have some callbacks from some old characters, and, you know, I'll, I'll leave it at that because I can't really say anything else without hitting you guys with some pretty big spoilers. So, with that being said, I think that's all I can really say with keeping this relatively spoily, uh, spoiler free. But yeah, it was a great movie. Uh, I'd say an 8.5 out of 10 it's not a perfect movie, but there's really no perfect movie. I'd say it's almost a 9 if the storyline would have been a little bit more like focused and the bad guy slash bad guys weren't so much just the generic, I'm the bad guy. Uh, it would have been a better, uh, at least a better storyline and that would have brought it back up to a nine but the bad guy was just your mustache twirling <laughs> i'm the bad guy but he wasn't uh, over the top like uh, jim carrey in the uh, sonic movies because he is literally the mustache twirling bad guy in those if you guys want me to review the sonic the hedgehog movies let me know down in the comments not a perfect movie but there really is no such thing as the perfect movie but I definitely will watch this again when it hits uh, streaming. But with that being said, of course, yes, this is a great movie. I gave you my rating. But with that, I do want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. I do want to thank all of my subscribers. If you haven't yet, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that little subscribe button if you like it. Let me know what you guys thought of Deadpool down in the comments once you've seen it. And if you don't want to see it, let me know why you don't want to see it. Maybe it's just not your thing. I understand. It's not for everybody. So with that being said, this was the spoiler-free review of Deadpool 3, Deadpool, and Wolverine. So with that being said, again, thank you guys for getting this far in the video. And we will see you next time. Peace.